Hey there Capricorn, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your general reading for February 2022. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that bell twice and this way you get all the notifications for when I go live. And a warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. You know how much I love you all. We're going to get started with the Oracle cards and then we're going to get into the Tarot spread, which is the beginning, middle, and the end. And I never say month anymore because even though we're pulling in monthly February energy, time doesn't really stop or is linear. So I always feel like it happens when it needs to happen. So pay attention more to the storyline, the actions in place of how it may feel for you. But it's a general reading, so it's not gonna gen it's not gonna resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force anything to fit. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. All right. Also, just want to remind you guys, I have a brand new spanking membership area. Um, pretty excited about it. It just started a couple of weeks ago. But if you love my daily readings, um, I have a daily reading now for members only, uh, Monday through Thursday on general love and career. Um, they're not done by zodiac signs, but there are dual messages. I'm telling you plenty, and I do tell you which signs are in there as well. But on Fridays, I also have for weekend readings all zodiac signs on love and general. And then if you're in the higher tier, you get um, the Zoom access on Sundays, which is my open discussion group. Sometimes it's readings, sometimes it's mediumship, sometimes it's meditations. Um, other times we go over topics like we just went over the 12 laws of karma. Um, and then the last one, we had a meditation on fear and anxiety. But the best part of this membership is you have access to all of those videos. I do not charge each video. Mm -mm. Nope, don't do it. So you're going to get all of my moving forward. I'm going to be doing extended readings. They're all going to be over there as well. Um, starts as low as $5, highs as 10 So that's that's how I'm keeping it. I want to keep it real simple. So um, if that's something that you're interested, you can go check it out. Chance for free readings, discounts, whole shebang, all over there. And also a reminder, my Tarot workshop, I only have six spots left. Um, it's filling up. It's going to fill up quickly. I know it will. Um, for February 26th, it's the journey starts February 26th. So if you've always wanted to learn Tarot, but not the old school, like sit back and just learn the cards because uh-uh, mm-mm. Uh -uh. I'm a structural reader for sure, but I really want you to use your intuition and it's interactive. This class is super interactive. So be ready to get started on reading right away, right? It's going to be your inner child at play. But one of my favorite things to do is I'm, you know, an immense storyteller. I'm a writer. I'm an artist. So um, a D and D nerd. So all of this kind of stuff comes in place here. So it's an area of play as well. So if that's something that is um, interest you and you want to be more playful and be with the tight knit group, it's going to be for you. It's going to be for you. All right, let's get started. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters as to what messages we have for Capricorn this month. What does Capricorn need to know this month, Spirit? Here we go. And what animal spirit is with Capricorn this month? Ooh, somebody is wiser with the owl. <laughs> we got listen to the messages of the angels. You're getting intuitive downloads here. For sure, listen to your intuition. But there's something about you being wiser now seeing something for what it is okay not fearful of the moon it's like no i already know i already know okay we got next to this bag something important such as a new job or a raise bag something's in the bag here something's in this mystery bag here for my capricorns next to pineapple hmm reconciliation reconciling could be reconciling with an old opportunity reconciling with yourself reconciling with a person could be a lot of different things here capricorn let's see what the cards have to say listen to the messages of the angels but i think you intuitively know this has been coming why do I keep feeling when I see that bag? Cat is out of the bag. Something's coming out of that. Something important such as a new job. Cat is coming out of the bag. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. 
we got death. Woo, that's good though. We got the princess of wands. Mm -hmm. We have the world. Yes, your rewards are coming in and it could feel like it's coming in even interesting. It could be an online opportunity here. Um, we have the nine of cups. We have the seven of cups. What's happening here, Capricorn? The higher font here. The three of swords. Okay, now this is making sense a little bit. The four of cups reversed. Followed with the energy of the princess of cups reversed. Judgment reversed. Eight of cups. Oh, you are walking away from something. And lovers, a new choice here. Okay, a new choice. Two of cups, a new partnership. Yep. Now, my general readings aren't always about love, so I have a mecca amount of messages here, okay? I'm going to try to keep them all straight. Mm, that's my job, <laughs> all right? So, death, okay? Death means that you're getting over a partnership that has transformed you, okay? Doesn't have to be love, could be even job-related, but it's something that is changing, okay? Something that is changing. You've already transformed and moved forward on a new start ascending to a new start here okay now what's interesting is what you're going towards this new start is the world which is the last card in the major arcana and it's about your rewards something that you want really badly badly it's a wish fulfillment okay this could be a job this could be a new relationship but it's a partnership you really want you do. You want this badly, okay? Hmm, interesting. Now, underneath death, we have the seven of cups. So I think it's taken some time. Sometimes you get a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of options you have, okay? Will this fulfill me? Even though this may be, feel like the dream job, the dream relationship I'm going towards, mm, I don't know. I, I'm still reflecting on the past. That may be the reconciliation that you're looking for, okay? What you're going and looking at with that higher font energy, which is really the owl, wise, super wise with that Taurus energy here with that higher font, okay? You have someone by your side. This is someone who's going to help to heal the heartbreak and the loss of what opportunities you have lost before in a big way, okay? I think people look up to you. I think that when um, you're kind of like the mediator in groups and stuff, so I feel like you have someone here where they see your worth, they see how wise you are, but also this person is extremely wise and you're aligned with them, okay? What is interesting is the Seven of Cups energy, because it's all on this row, is that I feel like you're reevaluating the heartbreak or the heart, the missed opportunities you've had. And it doesn't feel like the new stuff. It feels like the old stuff because it feels to me you're getting an opportunity that feels too fucking good to be true and you're not trusting it. Mm -mm. No, because the three of swords with the four of cups energy, this is about an opportunity that you're like, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but it's like, oh my God, am I going to miss this opportunity? Because I'm afraid that it's going to turn into this again, because this is what's clarifying this. Okay. And your nine of cups is clarifying, but is this really going to fulfill me? Because if I lose four cups and a nine, that leaves me the five of club cups and I'm just like sad and miserable and I feel like I made a mistake. It's really heavily. I feel this energy this month is you have an opportunity to have something really big, but you're, you're still living with fear and anxiety and it's emotions. It's a lot of emotions. The Prince of Cups or the Page of Cups this is reverse. It's about opportunities of not wanting to take small opportunities because there has been judgment here. And with judgment reverse, it's saying misjudgment. Someone has misjudged you. Someone hasn't seen your worth. It's time to move away from this. It's time to let go of this, Spirit is saying. 
Some of you wish to have a reconciliation so that you didn't have this heartbreak, but you needed these lessons so that you can have a new option and opportunity here. For those of you in love, this is an opportunity for new love, but others of you, you are going to an opportunity here for a really strong partnership of work or whatever endeavor that you have. This choice that you're making is the right choice. You are listening to your intuition. You are listening to your angels. You need to hear that. But you have to walk away from everything. And even if you made mistakes, even if you were misjudged, let that shit burn. Because what you're going towards is a new opportunity. Let's see. Let's see what this new opportunity is going to bring you. <laughs> of course it is. The world card just flew out. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah this is what your new opportunity is going to bring you a quick message something's coming in quick spanking quick all right really quick what it is really wish fulfillment there's an opportunity that is going to throw you out there there's the world again throw you out there in the world okay what is it throwing you towards the two of cups a new partnership. You have a new partnership here and it's coming. I, I don't think you would even expected this. You didn't think this, this just feels like this is too good to be true. And then I feel like you go, fuck, I'm going in. It, some of you, this is an online job or an online opportunity, or it's going to allow you to travel. Like you're going to be doing some heavily, doing some heavy traveling here. Okay. But this is a partnership that you did not expect because if it was on this side, um, you know, this is on the night side. So to me, this has been a wish, a hope, a dream, a desire that you've always wanted in a partnership, but it's so quick. It's like you have to make a quick decision, a quick, it's like, is this too good to be true? Um, this person could also be from the past that is giving you this opportunity, but it doesn't feel like old, it's weird. It doesn't feel like old love. If this is, if this is love guys related, this isn't like someone you, you dated. It could have just been a, a friendship or a strong bond in that way. Um, I'm not feeling the energy of an ex. I'm not, but for others of you, this is a new opportunity. This is a, this is an aligned partnership in a big way. All right, let's see what advice we have for you. What healing advice do we have for Capricorn Spirit? Wow. Really good reading for you guys. New work opportunity? Dang. New relationship? Dang. <laughs> In the end, you tried. And you cared. And sometimes that is enough. This has to do with that reconciliation, reconciling your past. If you fucked up or you were misjudged, spirit's just reminding you, in the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes that's just enough to move on. But go towards the sun. Go towards your happiness. All right, Capricorn, that's what I got for you. If this resonated, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you are on Facebook, I have a free private group there. It's called Harmonia Friends. Just search Harmonia Friends. We'd love to see you over there. I encourage other readers to come over to collaborate with me. Um, but also, if you're just looking for a fun group and a soul tribe, that's the place to be. Take care.